here. Questions for the student athletes? Micah, you've had to play more minutes with Rob being hurt. What's allowed you to kind of settle into this role and play really well here at Blake? Uh, nothing different. Really, you know, just I know I got to step up, uh, you know, and do whatever my team needs to do, whatever it takes. Whether it's assist, scoring, guarding, that's all I know. That's, all, that's, that's my mindset going into conference play. Michael, it seems like you did a very good job facilitating this offense tonight. Six assists, five of them in the first half. What's been working for you? I know you led. You were one of the top guards in the nation last year in assist to turnover ratio. You finished with six, uh, six assists, zero turnovers tonight. What was working for you to get downhill and attack tonight? Well, when I know I got players like Landers, you know, uh, Jeremiah, Dave, you know, those guys, it, it's easier for me to just, you know, get in the lane, and I know one of them gonna be open, or I got this, the the layup, or you know, dump dump off. So I just know, like, once I get in the lane, I got good players around me, so I'm comfortable. Landers, you hit your first few. Do you know early, like, I'm, I'm feeling it tonight, that could be going in, or is it just over the course of the game for you? Uh, it's a course, like, throughout the game. I mean, it'd be some games I start off like that and uh, end with what I started with. So i just been locking in and focusing on not letting that happen this year. What is better, your shot or your shot fake? I don't know. It might be, like, 50-50, honestly. <laughs> uh, probably my shot, because everybody on the team be telling me to shoot more, but... I don't be seeing what they be saying. <laughs> I don't be seeing it. It looks pretty comfortable though, but I'm I'm guessing that's a lot of practice. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I definitely work on pump faking. Even in my workouts, it's crazy. With no defense, I pump fake. I gotta work on it. That was a very young two lane team. Obviously, you guys saw a great majority of that roster last season. Obviously, Lander saw them at Memphis. Now here. Was that something you guys prepared to see like that game tonight? Was it something similar with the offense that kind of ran last year? What was working for you guys defensively to get that stop tonight? I just feel like we worked on it. I mean, preparation for this whole week was geared toward playing a scrappy, um, all over the place team like that. So it's a unique style of defense that they run. So we just got to be prepared for it. Mikey, you guys at 88 tonight, offense has been a lot better this year. Well, what's the difference? Obviously, Landers is here, maybe Vic's playing better, but overall, what's allowed this offense to play better this year compared to last year? Well, I feel like we added some good pieces, and I feel everyone that returned got better. But, you know, we just working every day trying to get better. Uh, and like, like, you, like I said, like the guys that we added, I mean, everybody's tough. I know Rob's hurt right now, but every piece that we added is contributed to us. So. And I feel like everyone just got better that came back last year. So that's, I think everyone's just been working hard. Kind of similar your freshman year, like you know, maybe didn't start out playing a ton, but then obviously you got a bunch of minutes, and it's felt like ever since then you've just always found your way on the court, the court for 25 minutes a night, if not more. What is it about your game that you feel like allows you to, to be out there and, and eat up that many minutes? Well, like I said, I know what coach, uh, what he's looking out of me. You know, he want me to be a tough guard every day, bring every day in practice. But like I said, my mindset is just I'm going to do whatever I need my team to do. You know, I might not score it every night, you know, so. I mean, like I said, maybe I'm, it's my night to score. Maybe I got to guard one of the best players or I got to, you know, play defense. So my mindset just to do whatever it takes. And that's what my coach has been preaching to me too. Coach Miller, uh, Ian Stowe, you know, Coach Dial and all them. They was like, you know, just you're a point guard for the team. So, you know, you just got to, it might be games where you're not scoring a lot. Just do whatever the, t the team needs you to do to win. Are you good with Stowe? Yeah, that's my guy. Vic, you know, Vic doesn't like, <laughs> like Stowe. Hey. Nah, still, still the type of guy, you know, he's going to go at you every day, and he's just trying to make us better. But that's that's my guy, though. <laughs> so you guys go against David every day in practice. He takes the challenge to try and lock down really good offensive scores. I mean, he limited Jalen Cook to just two points in the second half there tonight. Got him to foul out there with the five-minute mark. Just talk about his defensive efforts. I mean, he's one of the top defenders in the league. What have you guys seen from him on the defensive aspect? Outside of guarding us, he good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, I'm just worried. Hey. But me and Dave, we have our battles. Um, especially since John Newman been hurt, he kind of picked up that role of like getting us going and leading us on the defensive end and taking on the best matchup on the other end. So we just follow behind him and pick him up and tell him we got his back. Keep going. For both of you, it, it's human nature when you're up 17 to get comfortable. But who in the huddle? makes you uncomfortable to get you back going when it gets cut to two? Uh, I mean, all the coaches. Uh, Coach Roberts, he, you're going to hear his voice. He's going to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> He's going to make you uncomfortable because Roberts going to be on you. No matter if it's a huddle or not. Yeah, so I say, like, all the coaches, you know, they all going to preach to us, you know, like, don't don't settle, especially Coach Miller. Like, you know, even when we're up a lot, you know, he's not smiling over there trying. He wants us to keep 
when they have it, you know, so. What is it about being left-handed? It seems like when you turn the corner to drive to the hole, nine times out of 10, you're gonna get there. Yeah. And everyone knows you're left-handed, but you still get there. Uh, I just, that's just the unique thing, I guess, the gift I got. Uh, I mean, everyone used to write right-handed players, you know, so I feel like I have an advantage sometimes when I go left. But I don't know, I just feel like, I just feel like everyone thinks I'm right-handed or something, they don't really know what I am. So once I start playing it, they don't really know how to, you know, adjust. Any other questions? Thanks, guys. For sure, sir. Thank you. Thanks,